guys, so uh, we are going to be doing a weekly tarot and angel card reading. These cards are by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. I wanted to hop on to my business page live because when I do lives, you guys get to take advantage and ask for messages or, or cards or how it relates to you. And um, I like to be able to do giveaways like that for people to be able to just randomly pop on and ask questions if you didn't catch my podcast that was episode one then uh, you should check that out underneath youtube with Derek O'Shea we did lots of theta healing around this new moon today april 1st and today we are working on april 4th to april 10th i'm getting tension in my head and i'm getting some sickness okay so that's not ideal <laughs> And I'm just going to shuffle all the cards that want to come out. Um, now I'm feeling like worry. Okay. Anxiety. Sexual energy. Se the need for sexual stimulation. So it's coming. Okay. So, New Moon in Aries, make sure you checked out that uh, reading as well, again, underneath my playlist through YouTube, that's where you can find all of my videos. Please make sure you are underneath my TikTok, I've been doing daily readings there, I'm also on Instagram, and uh, I have my Facebook profile and business page, alright? So, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do that, I'm only uh, seven, just under 700 people away from having the subscribers that I need. And then I have to make sure that people are also viewing underneath YouTube. So I will work through that, okay? So strength, Archangel Ariel. Okay, let's bring the microphone in here. Dee 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 dee, see my little Easter bunny in the background? All right, so strength. So we're just kind of bringing up some negative emotions. Soon I'll be adding my more light into, into my videos. Um, and okay, so it what's coming up here is, in all honesty, we're just really working through some, some crap, okay? And when I think about our crap, I think about things that like, you know you're doing that you wish you weren't doing, but you do them anyway. That's what you're working on, okay? So you need a little bit of extra love and support this week. Then we have release Archangel Azrael, the end of a phase or situation, 13. So 13 often can be like, for some people your energy is gonna be like, woo, up, up, up and up and up. Very similar to last week's energy where it was like with the new moon coming in, we had to keep like building up the momentum and continuing. That was actually happening to me. I was like at nighttime having a chamomile tea, going outside, doing um, a blog post or um, participating in my mediumship class and showing my face where sometimes I might hide because it's late at night, things like that. So that's what I found was like, okay, I don't know what's going on energy wise. So let me know if you relate to anything I'm saying about negative emotions, working on yourself. Okay. You can just write in the com comments. And again, if you catch me alive, then you get a message. So just let me know. The other thing that's coming up is the reason why we're going through so much this week is because we need to we need to release we need to shift we need to change so strength is telling us we need to change release is telling us that some people are really going to really improve this week other people are going to just get stuck in the stubbornness and maybe complain so if you're contemplating what to do the answer is move through and shift okay if you want to grow emotionally spiritually you gotta uplift so and you also have to bring up other people as well so sometimes you might feel like you don't have the strength to take care of somebody else well it's okay you can just you can pull through okay music is another great tool that you can use to help you kind of like perk up if you're not getting a healing session with me or someone else, okay? Robinshealing.com, and now I have a membership group, which you can also join and take advantage of 
a bunch of resources within that and lots of support too, okay? So very affordable, lots of perks. A sudden event that needs immediate attention, night of fire. Okay, this is talking about being a little bit more silly this week. You might find that this is where some of the tension's coming up. Like, I feel so crappy, I don't wanna do anything about this or blah, 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 blah. And it's kind of like, I'm not saying you've hit rock bottom, but I, again, this is a general reading. You want personal, you can connect. But for as a general thing, certain people's energies are gonna take over more than others. Um, and because it's like, people aren't feeling super grounded or they're not really getting the clarity maybe that they want. And as a result of that, there's a lot of emotional upset, turbulence, um, just people being negative to other people, okay? So, um, I mean, I relate to that as well. Like, I have a family, I have friends, I have a community, right? So, like, I know what goes on in places as well. I've seen it all, actually, and I've been through a lot myself. So, it might be that you're, you're nervous to, like, express yourself, and that's why sometimes you let the emotions build up. So, again, if you choose to, just kind of continue throughout the week once again to work through this, okay? Um, c contentment, peace, and abundance for a fire, okay? So we were talking about sound healing through like music. I also offer sound healing in person now. I'm a yoga instructor. I do private yoga classes. And I'm also really open to doing events. So if you want me to do a retreat or you want me to do a yoga class or um, like a ladies, a ladies night or something, I'm cool with that. You just have to let me know, okay? But and getting like some people might be having a pity party for themselves where they're in like poor me victim mode. So your mental health this week looks like it could be like you could have an outburst or I'm just seeing like lots of flames. And again, if you have anxiety or um, like some type of disease or illness, you might find like you actually get extra inflamed and the inflammation is typically often inflammation is a lot of emotional stuff that you might have going on. But what we want to do is we want to soothe that. We want to calm that by addressing the things that need to be addressed. So we don't want to like entertain any anybody or anything that is like kind of negative. Okay. We just kind of don't want to go there this week. And then you'll find like if you're a mother specifically that some of the work that you're doing throughout the week will pay off because again, you're holding space for others. Um, if you are a younger person, you don't have children. Um, you don't, if you're younger, you don't have children. What's coming up is um, just like to not put other people down. Like that's gonna make you feel better too. Just like don't go there, okay? <sighs> Page of water. All right, I'm getting like, people are just putting other people down because of their own insecurities, okay? So if you notice that somebody thinks that they need to put somebody else down, or you're hearing somebody say negative things about other people, like, or even back talk or trash talk, like somebody's like really coming in really aggressively, just notice it, just pay attention to it. It's like, okay, this is like a red flag, or I've seen this before, I don't deal with this crap, okay? But you have to be yourself, okay? And we're conditioned sometimes to be people that we don't even like either because you might find, okay, well, they're gossiping and talking about somebody. Should I participate in this? Well, no, you shouldn't. Do people do it? Yeah, they do. They do talk about other people. So be aware of that. Um, you might find that you're taking on other people's emotions this week as well. I'm, I want to be really honest with this, guys. I'm not going to, like, filter it for you, okay? Six of air, we do really need entertainment, don't we? We need to focus on positive things that are healthy and still pleasurable. So that kind of refers back to the little story of I'm working through some stuff right now, but I'm doing it so that I can feel better, okay? I'm, I'm really working on, <laughs> excuse me, balancing my emotions, my own emotions, so I don't feel like I need to tear other people down as a result of my mis miserability. That's what I'm getting. Miserability isn't even a word. <laughs> so there's something like that your energy is going to increase, as I said, as, um, as you do the work, as you pay attention. That's why I'm getting these out 
often before the week has even started. And then like our four of four of uh, fires kind of teaching us about um, to condition ourselves to like love and express, but like the sound healing, if you're going through some type of grief or loss um, is supportive. So I did a grief ceremony for the month of March. Now we're in the month of April and I did an April reading as well. Um, but the grief ceremony seemed like like we didn't know that everything was going to be happening the way that it did in March. But I was like, people need a grief ceremony. And now I'm getting that they still need it too. Because we're only just starting April. Okay, so make sure that you watch the, um, the April reading. King of Earth, a successful time, Capricorn. Okay, this is where sitting still can be positive. But being stubborn is negative, okay? So stillness is more about the peace and the calming and the relaxing. Showering yourself with gifts and abundance also feels lovely. But don't do things for the sake of just being an a-hole, okay? That's not going to get you anywhere. So if you can't bring light into other people's lives, then why are you even in their life? Like, why, okay? I'd rather have nice people around me. And if I have to deal with somebody that's not nice for a very short period of time, you might find me being open and honest, no matter what that looks like. Are we trying to hurt other people's feelings? No. But we want to have compassion and kindness for other people. And sometimes being honest with people, as long as we're not being mean to people, can actually be very supportive for them. So don't be afraid of bullies. Do not be afraid of anyone who's taking your spiritual away from you. If you want to do something, don't let somebody else tell you that you can't do it. Okay? Again, there's a difference between trying to control things and being an a-hole. And then just actually standing up for your belief systems. And actually underneath my blog through robinsealing.com, I just did, that's what my blog was about, okay? Um, I was just channeling some weird stuff a couple nights ago, as I said, with my, with my weekly. So you might want to go back to the uh, March reading. You might want to go back to last week's reading, okay? Again, if you're hopping on, you want a message, you get one because we're on a live, okay? The world... Thank God this card is here. It's way better now. So I'm getting that to be a little more creative and innovative. And if you are, you're going to find like-minded people will bounce back at that. So that is a good thing. So there's going to be a bigger turnaround towards the end of the week, rather the start of the week. I can't help but feel like it's going to be like a lot of mindfulness and a lot of healing if you allow yourself to do those things, okay? Um, so make sure that that reward system is always there for yourself. If it's at the end of the night, I reward myself with this. At the end of the week, I reward myself with this. So we're watching this on Friday. Have you done that already, right? Um, you know, at the end of your Sunday, the end of your weekend, what is your reward for yourself? Uh, and you know what, maybe it's um, like every hour, you reward yourself with like a couple deep breaths. It's up to you, but that's something I think a lot of people need to sort out in their heart and what they want for themselves, okay? So if there's some resistance to change, you know why. Expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. Yeah, this is talking about some of the anger that people might be feeling emotionally right now. They might be feeling like they're judging people because they're hurting. And so we know that. But your, your own mental health is more important than other people's mental health, right? Everybody matters. But in your own world, your mental health has to come first. So if you're helping other people oh, and being like, oh, they have anxiety, la, 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 there, there, there. Well, take a look at yourself and say, well, do I have any of that within myself? And if I do, what am I doing about it? So if you have anxiety and you can't sleep at night, as I was saying, I've been, I've been um, having a little bit more caffeine than I typically do. But then I'm like drinking my chamomile tea at nighttime. And so I'm feeling very clear at nighttime. But then I'm also finding that like 
I'm feeling more relaxed at night, which is interesting, okay? So if you know, like, for myself, how I feel when I drink teas, then in start incorporating that. So it sounds like there are some people that are kind of like, oh, I know all the common sense stuff to do, but I'm not really feeling maybe worthy of doing that, or I don't feel like I deserve that, or I feel like they're making me angry and it's their fault, right? So there are blessings coming through this week, I swear. I swear there are. With love one, please, Polly. Okay. Nine of fire, okay? So you have, um, you're concluding this reading by confirming that at the very, very, very start of it, so please make sure everybody watches from the beginning, because it all tells us the story, that nine of fire represents strength, okay? And we're watching this underneath the new moon, and I did my painting for the new moon. And the nine of fire came up for this. And I did affirmation statements, which was like, I am strength, I am assertive. So it's interesting, but the new moon is actually going to have a huge impact. What you choose to do with that new moon will affect what's coming up for you. Because remind ourselves that when we say we want to attract something in our life, that means there's going to be a lot of work and kind of crazy stuff that's going to come up as a result of it. So we have to make sure that we're incorporating all the other things that we know how to do. And some people have more tools than others. So um, what I'm getting is for you relationships, Pauline, specifically, and again, it'll relate to others, but when it comes to your relationships, making sure that you're not still ling allowing certain things to linger on, if that's like... I feel like I can't let go of this like relationship thing that happened. That's where um, like some cord cutting might be coming up um, throughout the week. Maybe start cord cutting at the beginning of the week, at the beginning of your day, and then notice the difference in how, in how you're actually feeling. Because I know you're doing readings as well. And uh, the cord cutting becomes extra important. All right. So yes, yeah, so that... That might be for everyone just um, underneath my playlist meditations. I have a cord cutting exercise with Archangel Michael. That's a really important one. Um, and aside from the grief ceremony. All right, guys, take care. Thanks so much for hopping on. I love it if you shared. Bye-bye.